MG Chemicals Tech Talk. In this short video, I will demonstrate the main application patterns used when replacing a thermal paste or grease on a CPU. I'll use MG's 8616 Super Thermal Grease 2, specially formulated to be both thermally conductive and electrically insulating, to conduit heat from CPUs to heat sinks. Is there a superior method for applying TIMs to heat sinks? Well, that depends on the size and layout of the heat sink itself. This heat sink has four heat dissipating elements grouped in sets of two. Applying TIM out to the perimeter of the aluminum part would cover the whole CPU surface, but you might want to prioritize the heat dissipating elements. A heat sink with a single dissipation element may require only a single dot of paste in the center, which under compression will spread out to the perimeter. This heat sink with its large surface area will work best if you apply the paste in an S pattern or any shape adapted to the perimeter of the heat dissipating element. This last heat sink with its square surface is a common component in electronics. We recommend either the pentadot parallel lines or X pattern technique. Begin by removing the heat sink from the CPU. Next, remove any residual paste or grease with isopropyl alcohol and a lint-free paper cloth. MG Chemicals offers convenient pre-saturated wipes that work great to effectively remove most grease and paste residue. For edges and hard to reach areas, use a foam swab. The DIY community employs various techniques when applying thermal paste to heat sinks. Troweling with a tongue depressor. Applying a large dot in the center. Spreading five small dots around the surface. Parallel lines. And finally, a crisscross or X pattern. No matter which technique you use, try to maximize coverage across the surface area of the CPU and minimize the bond line thickness. Once the new paste is applied thinly and evenly, press the heat sink firmly onto the CPU, which will spread the paste across the surface and ensure maximum coverage and minimum thickness.